This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. So you've been paying no attention to your job. No, I'm busy. This, this isn't busy. Yeah, it is. It's a very good friend of ours birthday today. So I was searching through my entire photo album in my phone to find the best, the funniest video of him or one of the funniest. Yeah. It's hard to choose. You know, a lot of people don't do that kind of thing at work, though. Ryder, you always do a birthday shout out for me on my birthday. Because you make me. You'll ask me numerous times, hey, you got that birthday shout out for me yet? That's not true. Uh, Ryder. Lisa. Ryder. Don't make me sound like a bigger turd than people already think I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think everybody knows I'm telling the truth. I so c- this is my favorite thing to do. Just type in happy birthday and then their name into YouTube and find the most obscure, strangest, mm. homemade video that someone posted 20 years ago and post that on their wall. So I was recording your computer while you were looking And uh, I found this one. I don't know if you, this is what you went with, but it's a 90 year old singing happy birthday. That is what I went with, yes. Happy birthday, dear Grant. Happy birthday to you. And again, you're just killing yourself over there while you're going through all these. Because you got to put in that little extra effort. You can't just write happy birthday on their wall. Mornings with Ryder and Lisa. Time for Am I a Bad Guy? We'll get to your uh, texts here shortly, but I need to bring up what shook down at the Oilers game and just get your opinion if you think I'm a bad guy. Did you pee in a cup? No. Well, the lineups to the washroom are pretty long, so that's the first thing that I assumed you did. No. So there was a couple that was sitting beside me okay. that got in an argument before the game started. Like, just after I... I think I might be one of the reasons they got in an argument. Because she was rude to me when I had to walk by them to get to my seat. And I heard him say, like, get it together. Mm. Or something along those lines. And that started an argument between them, to which she eventually got up and left. And I assume, like, maybe she's gone for... You know, 10 minutes. She knocks over her beer when she's leaving, but it had a lid on it, and so it stayed shut. And I noticed the fall of the beer, and then, but it wasn't my business to, you know, set it up or touch other people's things. So about 10 minutes through the first period, pretty evident she's not coming back. Was he sitting there? He was still sitting there, yeah, but he still hadn't picked up this beer that had tipped over. And again, good lid. Obviously. Had she taken a sip out of it? Because I think we all know where this is going. She did not take a sip out of it yet. So my first move is to reach over and just set it up. It was bothering me. I couldn't stop thinking about this beer that was tipped over. 17 bucks. $17 for a beer now? Yeah, Rogers. Yeah. No, it's not. 16 for sure. Yeah. For a beer? Yeah. (laughs) I know. Uh, Right? I used to get a 12 pack for that. Oh, I'm putting Mickey's in my bra next time I go. Okay, continue. So I set the beer up, and then I give it another, you know, 10 minutes. Maybe she'll come back for the second period. Second period rolls around, full beer still sitting there. You're gross. You drank it, and it was warm. Yeah, who cares? It's 16 bucks. Did he watch I you drink it? I drink it, and it was hot. Well, I think he noticed me grab it, but the weird part was he didn't drink it. Was he drinking at all? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a beer. I, I don't know for sure if he did or not. But anyway, I gave it its 20 minutes due. And then I was like, I'm drinking that beer. So I did. And it actually was still a little bit cold. So am I a bad guy for drinking a beer from a woman who got up and angrily left the game? Maybe she was going to come back. She didn't. I don't think you're a bad guy. And I think majority of the texts rolling in agree you're just gross. Why is that gross? I don't know. Like, what was on the ground? Was it nasty? No, it was fine. It was like, if it would have tipped over in the end of the second and there would have been muddy shoes that had been on the ground, maybe. Or if she had been drinking out of it. And then you use it. Like, what if what if you got a cold sore? You know? Yeah, I probably still would have went for it, but I wouldn't have drank out of the lid part. Yeah. I would have popped the lid off and drank from the cup if she had taken a couple sips. You know, at the end of the day, it seems like... And here we go. There's some text rolling in from some of our listeners saying they're just proud of you because you're saving money. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an expensive endeavor. Okay. Not a bad guy seems <sighs> to be the consensus here. That feels great. It feels really good. Hmm. This text here from Matt says, I shout out random numbers when people are counting. 
Oh, I like that. Not a bad guy. No, that that's a bad guy. What? You're messing with people. Yeah, it's okay to mess with people a little bit. Not to that extent. Not when they're counting. Nobody likes math. <laughs> Trent says, I will ask my super introverted friend questions in front of a large group of people because I love watching him scramble and be uncomfortable. Uh, what do you think? Not a bad guy. I think not a bad guy because, you know, it's time to mm. it's time to open up. He's helping him get out of his shell. Then again, that's coming from me who just posted on my Instagram story last night of the intense chest rash I got after having a meeting. Yeah. I get so nervous. Does anyone else get that inevitable chest rash anytime you're confronted or have to have an uncomfortable conversation? It's so embarrassing. And then someone will call you out for it. Those are the bad guys. Mm. When they're like, hey, your uh, chest is getting a little blotchy. You got some hives going on there. I'm like, oh my God. Shh. Not in 2023. No, nobody's commenting on other people's chest in public. Oh, but they are. They are? When you get blotchiness. When it starts creeping up your neckline and people are like, hey, I, you I might okay? say neck. You got something going on with your neck there. Well, I'd be worried that you ate something that you were allergic to. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, Sarah just texted in. I always fake listen to people when they tell me stories about their family. Mm. Am I a bad person? No. As long as you're like decent at reading the room, if they can tell that you're fake listening and you continue to do it, you're a bad person. But if you like can sell it. Just pretend you care, but then change the conversation. Because there are people that are exhausting to be around because all they talk about are their kids. Mm. And kids are fine. Like, that's cool that your son passed his math test. But, like, <laughs> can we move on? Tell me something good today. It was a pretty wild story about a couple that met via a wrong number text. She meant to text her friend. She texted this guy. He was like, hey, that's a really great piece of advice. They hit it off, and now they're That's together. a risky move. Because this person could be a total creep. Yeah, that's very fair. Have you ever met uh, anybody in a, like, a unique way? Even if it's mm. maybe not like something that developed into a long-term relationship or anything, but how you scored a date. I have a very um, romantic story. Like It could be a scene in a rom-com. Should I light some candles? No, I think that'd be actually quite dangerous in such a small space. Oh, okay, can I drink this wine that I have in my coffee mug? Sure. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. I was at O'Burns. That's not a good start. You're Why? at an Irish pub? Yeah. You're bragging that this is romantic? <laughs> it is romantic. How many Guinness were you deep? Mm, quite a few. Were you burping and farting well, from that's, them? that's the point. <laughs> is I, it was so busy in there. You know how it gets. Yeah. It was packed wall to wall, and this was in November, so all of the hot men were wearing pea coats with their poppy on the their shirt. And mustaches. Mustaches and scarves, which is my favorite look. It's my favorite look. Okay. And yeah, I had a couple too many drinks, kind of stumbled back, kind of landed on this guy's lap. <laughs> Swear okay. to God. Swear to God. Didn't know he was behind me because it was so busy in there. I didn't like sit on him, but I just kind of like backed up into him. And then when I turned around to say, sorry, we made eye contact. Everything slowed down. I'm pretty sure the song, the DJ switched to like a romantic song. You threw up on him. No. And did you? And, and then I, we went on a date, a date or two. But then he was like, "I want to marry you." After oh. our first date, so I had to stop that. Did you? Uh, what? No, well, I, it's none of my business. Seven eight zero seven eight four seven one zero seven. Where did you meet somebody, and how was it unique? Long, way, way, way back in like the nineteen fifties, when I was working the A and W drive through, and uh, this young lady came through and uh, while I was dealing with her order, she mentioned she was going to go see this movie later and I was like, oh, I wanted to see that movie too. So she's like, well, hey, come with me. And that was it. And uh, it was a great invite to be asked as a guy instead of having to do the asking all the time. But yeah, I mean, the date was terrible, but it was at least <laughs> cool to be asked. Do you remember what movie it was, Kyle? No, I could not tell you. This is honestly like 22 years ago. Was wow. it that long ago? Did you have to like walk out the orders to the car at ANW? <laughs> yeah, on my roller skates and my tray. You know, that's <laughs> yeah, how exactly. I'm very confused because you said 20 years ago, but then you originally stated that it was in the 50s. Well, I'm like, what's the ex math? Uh, he was exaggerating the first time. <laughs> uh, you know, really dating myself. <laughs> now you're just dating yourself, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I 
Hey, got me on that one. Play. Charlie texted in saying, I met my husband at a rave in Toronto. It was so loud that we couldn't hear each other's names. He kissed my hand. I was smitten. We've been together for 17 years, married for nine. Cute. Very cute. Madison says uh, that she's getting married to someone she met on TikTok. What? Which feels like a quick turnaround, but I guess TikTok's been around for a few years now. That's true. If, they if, probably downloaded it in, what, 2019? Yeah, I guess that's reasonable. It just feels like it's too fresh, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's not, which is just crazy even thinking that it does feel like yesterday was 2019. Yeah, totally. We Well, we skipped a few years there, pretty much. I met him at a Halloween party. We were neighbors, and he was dressed as a cowboy, and I was dressed as a cowgirl, and... His first words to me were howdy. Oh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, did it, did it feel like it was meant to be right off the hop then? I would imagine with those costumes, it did. Absolutely. 100%. And how long have you <laughs> been together? Been together for 12 years now. Married for 10. Cute. Uh, that reminds me a bit of I found out a girl I was crushing on was going as an oven for Halloween. So what did you go as? I dressed up as a baker just to like... Yeah, send out the vibes. This sounds like a fake story. And Who I, dresses up like an oven? And I brought a bun. I was like, sup, girl? Yeah? Ryder, you can just admit that you don't have anything to contribute to I this don't, topic. I don't have anything. <laughs> For Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Cal Mustara, your real realtor with Maxwell Progressive. We are joined by Alana, caller seven, ready to win a thousand bucks. Here, how, here is how the game works. Alana, you're going to choose either Lisa or myself as your teammate who will then leave the room and not be able to hear anything when you give your answers. We're going to give you five words. You tell us the first word that comes to mind for each. Then we'll invite your teammate back in. Do the same thing with them. And uh, for every word that matches, it's 25 bucks. If you get all five to match, it is $1,000. Who are you going to roll with today? I'm going with Lisa. Okay. Good luck, Alana. I'm out of here. I will start the timer as soon as I give you the first word, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this. Your first word is bunny. Hop. Suitcase. Clothes. Driveway. Car. Tattoo. Ink. And hoop. Basketball. All right. I need to give you that first word again to just make sure um, you heard what I said. Bunny. B-U-N-N-Y. Yeah. And your word was? Oh, I said hop. Hop. Oh, I thought you said hot, and I thought you s- thought I said sunny. Okay, great. Let's get Lisa back in here and give away some money. Ten, how confident are we feeling right now, Alana? Maybe a seven. Okay. Okay. Lisa, what's the first word that comes to mind when I say hoop? Earring. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Basketball. Dang. What's That's the f- a good answer. First word that comes to mind when I say driveway. Car. Yes, we're rolling. Okay. 25 bucks. No wall of shame on a Friday. How about tattoo? Skin. Mm, what a terrible answer. <laughs> well, that's where it goes. Ink. Ugh. Uh, let's go with suitcase. Travel. No. Nope. Clothes. <laughs> and to make it 50 bucks. Yeah, please. Bunny. Rabbit? No. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Huh. Oh, you know what? Alana's words were really good, but I'm so curious now with everyone playing along. Hmm. Would you have won a thousand bucks? Who are you vibing with more, Alana or myself? Sorry, Alana. I wish I could have done better, but you still picked up 25 bucks. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks Cheers. for playing. Your next chance to play is Monday morning at 750. What is your thing? When you get together with your friends or you're at a party. There's a guy that keeps popping up on my Twitter algorithm. He seems to be going to every Oilers game or he's in the pit. And every time the Oilers score, he drinks a beer out of his shoe. 
And this isn't like just putting the can in his shoe. No, he pours it in and then drinks it right away. And that seems to be his thing. I've seen it with boots before, like at wedding dances and stuff. People will pour a beer into a cowboy boot. But isn't that disgusting? Have yeah. you ever smelt your shoes? Yeah, it's yours, I could see. <laughs> Ryder like, once said that my shoes smell like two St. Bernard's wrestling. Two wet St. Bernard's just wrestling. In, they just came in from the rain. Mm. So I would never do this. And your planter warts. Ryder, that is not true. You're the one with the planter wart. Oh, so okay. don't try and turn nice, this on me. C- nice comeback. Ryder. Yes, Ryder. You're the denier. Okay, what were we talking about? What's your thing? What's your thing? So there's this guy who... Chugs beer out of his chugs shoe. Chugs beer and then puts the shoe back on and yeah. then sits back down in his seat like gross. I'm not here for it. But like if this is going to get him free playoff tickets, if he becomes no. the guy this year that no. they show on the Jumbotron and it gets the people going, like maybe I drink a beer out of my shoe for a free playoff ticket for sure. Especially my clean shoes compared to yours. I'd never drink a beer out of your shoe. Like I said before, if you see Ryder at the pool, tell him to put his slippers back on. What's your thing? Okay, so I think my thing used to be I loved icing people. And I know that seems really generic and boring, but man, was I good at it. Mm. Until everybody got back at me by icing me with one of those one liter Smirnoff ice. Yeah. For those that don't know what icing is, it's when you surprise somebody with a Smirnoff ice and they just happen to find it and they have to drop to a knee immediately and chug it. Yep. Yeah. And so I did it because mm-hmm. I was trying to be a hero. So I got down on one knee, I chugged the whole one liter thing and I blocked out. So I'll never do it again. No, that's it. Because as soon as you stop icing other people, for the most part, it definitely slows down. Mm -hmm. But if, like, we made the mistake of doing it at ball tournaments, and we're already consuming way too much. And we all just were, like, super hungover for the entire weekend. And so we had, like, a gentleman's agreement not to ice (laughs) each other the next tournament. Because there's so much sugar in it. Yeah, ridiculous. My thing would have been uh, knee, sorry, uh, leg wrestling. But then I blew my knee. And it's probably because of how much I leg wrestled. Like, it really wore it down. As soon as Ryder would mention that he's undefeated, Mm. everyone in the bar wants to leg wrestle against him. So they're laying on this disgusting wood floor that you know people have barfed on. Mm -hmm. And it's true, undefeated. So that's your thing. Not anymore, though, since your knee surgery. So now Mm. you need a new identity. You could be planter wart guy. No, we don't. Make that up. It's not me. The Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Play 107.